Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the St. John's County Show that's on in the morning. We're going to have a wonderful, amazing, terrific show for you today. Yes! All right, yes, ooh, finally, ooh, some ooh, reinforcement. Ooh. Oh, what happened to What's you? What's your problem, Troy? Debbie Downer. What's like, your problem? You guys are you like, wearing red. You're like super bright here. I got like. What do you think you are? Look I'm at nervous. you. You look like a CVS. You look wonderful. <laughs> I'm going. I'm working at Target now. I needed a new job. Both of you look like Christmas <laughs> morning over here. We got Forest Green with the world's famous greatest T-shirt in the f history of T-shirts, and we've got you in red, just like Christmas morning. How beautiful. Uh. A Target employee, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Times are getting tough for Troy. It's, they're looking. They are Troy's hiring. Troy's just looking for a deal on a Stanley Cup, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to get well, the Target card. employee discount, huh, That's Troy? it. That's it. You get 5% off and of use your Target card. <laughs> yeah. Troy's going to work there until the new shipment comes in, and then he's out. I'm out. <laughs> Here for the discount. What color are you going to go for? Here for the discount. Uh, red. Obviously. <laughs> That's the shirt. Oh, it is okay. the exclusive. <laughs> All right. Well, we got stuff to do here today. We're going to have some fun. We've got... When I first read this headline, I swear to God, I thought it said, St. John's County looking for volunteers to fill holes in roads. <laughs> no way, really? <laughs> but it's to fill roles in boards oh. and committees. Yeah. Oh, that'd be perfect. Which is a little more boring than <laughs> volunteers filling holes in roads. I would love for them to be just... At the point where they're so desperate, they're like, we just need people off the street to fill the holes in the roads. Well, not necessarily, Pete. You can be the voice of change on those boards. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Great sale. Well, you could. <laughs> Hello, board he member. Radio yeah. voice You're basically too. I mean, St. Augustine PTO over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, we got beach renourishment that will continue until a couple months from now. Okay. All right. Tear all the houses down. <laughs> oh. Mm. Sounds like a hot topic. Yeah. And then we got, uh, we got a lot, man. We got a lot to talk about. It's a terrible day. Is it really? <laughs> yes, it is. Yikes. Um, so we got a uh, Walmart story. Yep. Mm -hmm. The Casino of mm -hmm. Champions, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Casino of Champions? Oh, yeah, you never know what you're going to get when you go into we Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, you, Walmart. it's a gamble every time. We had a Walmart store yesterday with the Amish guys. True, That's true. right. Yeah. We're two for two for Walmart. Yeah. True, true. Are we getting a new sponsor, David? That's what I'm saying. Hello, <laughs> I might have to shake it down. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> Wish it was Target, though. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, that's what Troy's pushing for. He's <laughs> angling for it. Nice. Well, I'm making Walmart nervous by wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the brand is the beacon, yeah. <laughs> Did you guys see the story about the elderly horse that was rescued by fire crews? No. no. Where was this? Oh, I'll tell you about it. Okay. It's coming up in the show. Huh. And St. John's County approves a 2024 list of priority transportation projects. Great. This is good, right? Mm -hmm. right? Right? We need more exciting news in St. John's County. I think we teased that and never got to that story like late last week. Oh, really? Okay. Really? Yeah. Here we go. Why is it back? Yeah. I think Let's we just see. never got to it. Okay. Well, if we never got to it, means it, it wasn't worth getting to. It, it didn't happen. No, I think it was the sheriff day. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Sheriff day. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, before we get too deep into it, I will remind you that the Florida Man Games is world famous, and you should be checking it out. And it's sponsored by Flow Grown. <laughs> yes! Presented by Flow Grown. Uh, best food in the state. Let's go. In including hmm? Hmm? some pork butt. Hey! There's going to be an eating challenge. Delicious. To start, to start this off, I think it's I think it's officially going to be called Eat the Butt. All right. Eat the butt. Eating the butt. Hey! Yep. But, but, but. Sexist. Gotta, <laughs> gotta eat the butt the fastest but, but, but. to mm -hmm. qualify and figure out where you're going to be in the bracket. When the butt yeah. is round, get yeah. around downtown. Oh, eat the butt. Hey. Hey. Me why. we got to come up with a theme song or yeah. something. Yeah. Jeez, well, you guys are off to a <laughs> quick start. Yeah, we're that just, didn't take long at all. Just checking it out. But, but, but. Yeah. Uh, uh, Spencer's going to be uh, working on that. Ooh. 
Yeah. I can eat me some butt. Do you get inside a butter? <laughs> Spencer's going to be putting his butt up for teams to eat. Hey. Nothing like a good saucy butt. That's right. Ooh. Jeez. Not really. Well, maybe, actually. <sighs> so does the best butt win or the best uh, eater? The fastest butt eater wins. Okay. <sighs> the fastest butt eater places highest in the bracket to start the games. Okay. Okay. Yep. So um, I'm I'm envisioning like this delicacy in front of the person, and they've mm-hmm. got to eat the whole thing that's in front of them. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yes. They can get a first round buy. It's a plate of yeah. butt. Okay. okay. Pulled pork, really. Pulled, Pulled pork. pork butt. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, uh, <laughs> I'm insane. Well, it's uh, exciting. Uh, it is exciting. It's going to be great, and it's something we wanted to do from the beginning. There it is. Now we get the opportunity to do that. Mm-hmm. We've got the all clear to do that. So I'm actually very excited about that. You know, there was that story a long time ago about the guy who got a ticket for something he had written on the back of his truck. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It said, I eat. Oh. You know, we said the word yesterday. I know mm-hmm. there's families that watch in the morning. Right, right, right. But uh, said, I eat a dollar sign, dollar sign, right? Yeah, the other yeah. name for a donkey. Right. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. He got in trouble for that. So that inspired us to do the eat the butt contest. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, of course, we're going to have a lot more out there for you to do. Check out the website if you want to see more. It is thefloridamangames.com. The Florida Man Games presented by Flowgrown. So more details on how to sign up for the contest, correct? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. More details on uh, what more of the contests are. You can see what some of the entertainment is. We got some great entertainment. The mullet contest, the pinup girl competition. Nice. Nice. uh, The chicken coop bingo everybody's excited about. It's going to be fire. Wow. Mm, Their comments are fire today. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Very flourishing. Cue the fire trucks. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Do we have good comments in there? Or are people being oh real? yeah, no, we have great ones. There's yep. a lot of ass comments. Definitely, they yeah. all want to see Spencer's. Apparently, yeah, <laughs> they want to see Spencer's butt. Yep, okay. there it is. Make all a right. calendar. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> all right. Jeez, Spencer's just gonna hate us by the no, time. No, please. He's, 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 he's like a walking Hallmark oh, story. He's the nicest okay. man on the planet. He's the one who started Wonderful. the comments saying his butt's gonna be <laughs> definitely smoky, smoky and moist. Oh there, oh, he used the word moist. That word just never. Ever works out well. Yeah. It just really doesn't. Those are the people that, yeah. <sighs> Eesh, I mean, don't like that. It's very Florida, though. I mean, you've got to get... No one wants a dry butt. Yeah. No. You want a moist butt. Well. Sturized. <laughs> Sturized. <laughs> Moisturized. How do we all jobs outside of this one? I was trying to hold it. I was trying to hold it. <laughs> yeah, you really... hire us for stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Bozard Ford Lincoln. Celebrating. <laughs> Sorry, Bo. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> heated seats. <laughs> heated seats for your butt. Uh, celebrating 75 years in St. Augustine in Northeast Florida. Bozard Ford Lincoln is here for you. You can experience their extensive selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, quick and quality servicing, and their parts and accessories shop. That is amazing. Make sure to grab a signature burger at Ford's Garage while you're there. 904 Burger is pretty good. They also offer services from home delivery to company fleet servicing at Bozard Ford Lincoln. Your family is their family, and they are driven to inspire. Also, big shout out to Fidus Roofing, Great Expectations Realty and Auction, Chiba Hut Toasted Sub, St. Augie's Pizza, BHF Insurance, Chris Lucero, Bail Bonds, Griffin Service at a bar med spa. I'm guessing there's just the comments. Tim Gauze, really. What can you say? No, is it something you I can say? You really can't I really say need, it? I need to talk to Pastor Jeff after saying yeah. that. Wow. In my head. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Right. It's no, good. Oh, it's funny. It's really funny. You guys. It was the timing of it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. You haven't lived until you blank Spencer. Until you eat Spencer's yeah. ass. Oh. Yeah. Donkey thing. Yeah. Truck. That's not too bad. Nah, well, it, the way it was. we have the best audience on the planet. We really do. Oh, God so bless y'all. I really think yeah. we do. Thank you for getting our humor. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I say that with such trepidation because uh, there's a lot of people that don't get our humor. No, but, yeah, yeah. You guys give them confidence to laugh at life, and that's important. And if you don't get our humor, we got one of these for you. Well, we. All right, Troy. Question of the day. <laughs> okay, I, first off, I read Davy's comment wrong. Uh oh. Oh. Right. His comment was, I mean. I will be there so you have a pop <laughs> sensation. 
I read okay. it as you have a poop sensation. Oh, oh no, yeah. That was a little too much for the like, like, humor like, today. Where are you going? <laughs> no, oh. it's, it's definitely pop, no, it's pop, pop sensation. sensation. Thank you. So I just uh, wow. got thrown off. All right, so <laughs> you ever get in your car and like the it kind of sets your day for the first song that comes on? Yes, every day yeah, of my life. Yeah. Yes. Right. Sure. Today I get in the car and Ruby Tuesday is on. Okay, it's it's a Beatles song. Oh, okay. okay. All right. It's a great, great Beatles song and stuff okay. like that. So happy Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Which is almost the weekend. Yeah. So it's so like, that's man, I'm going to have, have, have a great day. Yes, there you, you are. I'm going to have a great day. So it, happy Tuesday. Lickety split. So. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful. And I'm doing great. Thank you. Oh, how's everybody doing today? <laughs> you asked that question. So I was, no, I, was, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? I was waiting. <sighs> I love this jacket. I look like I'm wearing football pads. Definitely, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you definitely look like a Kelsey brother. <laughs> uh, how's everybody doing? Troy, you good? Davey, you good? Uh, man, Playing? living the life, yes. Right. Good deal. Yeah, I'm good, chat. You good? Yeah. Good. Davey's going deer hunting. Yeah. yeah. I was actually going like safety patrol, like my, uh, my comeback tour. But okay, yeah. we'll go hunting, I guess. Got to give you a little sheriff badge. Right? Yeah. That is a very hunting, it's a stylish hunting... It's jacket like target special yes so they can see you in the woods and they'll shoot you did right I, exactly did I, did I sell you that yeah you <laughs> did sell me that at the door you were like young man please go back to the clearance rack and pick up that orange coat it does be bewildering on your eyes i know try aisle 12 <laughs> right so good all right question of the day troy all right question of the day there's a big bowl of dum-dums Ooh. All right, dum dums are the little tiny lollipops. If you guys do not know what dum dums are, oh, this question's going to yeah. give you a hard time. <laughs> that was Mike Davis's what office. What flavor of dum dum do you go after? Okay. Oh, okay. I know my answer. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's like a lemon flavor, isn't there? I think there's a lime one. Maybe oh. it's lime that I'm thinking of. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you go for. Yeah. Yeah. I like the sour dum dums. I don't like sour everything, but I like the so sour. So were you dum-dums. were you a blue raspberry go for no because the nah, blue no nah. that was like a big trend in my era. Okay. But that was not the my favorite one. My favorite one is the coconut pineapple one. Mm. I mean, if suntan lotion were a drink, I would literally drink it. I love <laughs> yeah, that taste. Yeah. I know. Okay, there you go. Uh, purple, great, purple, great. Yep, nice. <laughs> That's been your answer for a couple flavors, Clay. It's just. Purple. <laughs> yeah, that's the flavor. He's okay, a purple yeah, people eater. It doesn't necessarily taste like actual grape. It does kind of taste like just purple. purple. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What about you, Troy? Uh, I'm I'm root beer. Root, root beer. beer. Right. I do like the mystery that's one. That's a good one. I do like the mystery one. Yeah, the I mystery like, one's I like, fun. I like most of them, but like it, I, I'm root beer. Root so, beer. Okay. But I mean, I'm, I I don't know if there's a dum dum flavor. I don't. I like them all. Yeah, I do like them all. Watermelon. They're all yeah, good. yeah, that's why mystery doesn't scare me. And when, when it comes to dum dums, okay. yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> mystery is. I mean, the rule is. I mean, if you don't like it, then you toss it, and then you get another one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's dum dums aren't like jelly bellies. You know, jelly no, bellies. There's yeah. certain ones you bite into, and you're just like, <laughs> you're like, ooh, yeah. Yeah. who invented yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why was that a flavor? That's how I feel about the popcorn jelly belly. I was just gonna say, yeah. I love the popcorn jelly belly. Uh, yeah. I don't like I it. It does popcorn it, jelly it, belly. Freaks my freak. I don't know. There's something weird with mm. it. Yeah, I like it. I, 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 that's I like my it. favorite jelly belly. I think is mm. popcorn jelly belly. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's something for everybody. Yeah, there is. So. A lot of lot of good answers Ooh, out there. Oh, cream soda, people, good people one, Sherry. All over that. Yeah. yeah, I've never liked cream soda anything. <laughs> see, see, I love cream soda. Complete <laughs> opposites. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Troy. It's time for a quick check of the weather. Nice day. Ah, quick check of the weather. No, it's it's not. It's nice day. Yeah, it's nice beautiful. day. It's gonna turn into it. Makes you feel skinny. Ruby, it's a Ruby Tuesday. It's forty-seven degrees outside. Yeah. <sighs> You're gonna take that. Arctic coat off and have a wonderful day. <laughs> if you go outside, <laughs> I'm not going outside today. Uh, all right, Great Expectations brings us that uh, weather report. Uh, they can sell your home, your business, and everything in it. Check them out at geauction.com, geurlt.us. We now go to Clay for the most legitimate part of our show traffic report. Clay? All right, roads looking clear this morning. Look at 95, just about nothing out there. Wow. And we have 207 where they turn potholes into pot hills. Oh. Looks like those <laughs> holes are already filled. Good right. luck towing anything out there because your trailer might flip. There 
They are starting to do it on US 1 2 with the bump ahead signs. I don't know if you felt those this morning. Uh, Although the traffic was light this morning on US 1. A1A a looking good. A couple red areas on the old map to avoid. Uh, Unfortunately, they're in most major exits of town. Uh, that's all from the 904 Now Traffic Center brought to you by Amara Med Spa. Very good. Love it. God, Thank I you, love sir. It. So good. Wow. Jeez. Award winning. It really should be. Yeah. I mean, we should nominate Clay for an Emmy. Yeah. Honestly. I'm down. I'm down. I'll write it. Let's I'll do know, it. Since we're not on actual TV, if we can do that. On it well, Roku. Hey. The we- What's the web Emmy? What's the online? Emmy? Oh, I, it always is in my newsfeed. There is like is some award that we could buy for like like the, everybody else, like oh, six hundred like bucks. It's like six hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh, you could, that's yeah. worth an award. Yeah. <laughs> God. I right. think it's called Webby, actually. You can get a Webby. Oh, get a little Webby, little Boosie, and a little Webby. Yeah, that's not <laughs> nice. Eat a Webby. It's a Webby. <laughs> Better than some things we've proposed eating this morning. Mm. Uh, Mara Med Spa. Look at that. Oh, you can experience the ultimate rejuvenation at Amara Med Spa, where science meets tranquility. Their world-class treatments will transport you to a state of pure bliss, and their radiant facials will unlock your natural glow. You have high standards. I know. And so do they. For the perfect blend of harmony and wellness and beauty, <laughs> choose Amara Med Spa. Visit them today online at theamaramedspa.com and unlock your most beautiful you. They had a great, well, there's Bozart again. They had a great party that yeah, you went to, Davey? They did. They had their One first anniversary. First anniversary. Yeah. Tracy, the whole team was there. It was a wonderful thing to see. And uh, I can just see the whole community rallying. A lot of people, there are people from Says, you know, were there. So that was a great connection, what oh, they cool. did over the holidays. So yeah, it's really cool to see Amara grow. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Cool people down there, man. Helping a lot of uh, our listeners and watchers out. Looking younger. Absolutely. Feeling better. Uh, you feel better when you look better. Absolutely. You have you know, more you confidence. Really yeah. I mean, that's the truth. It's just a mental thing. All right. St. John's County looking for volunteers to fill roles on boards. Seriously, I would have liked it better if we were filling holes in roads, but okay. And committees as well. Mm. St. John's County government seeking volunteers to serve on various boards and committees within the county. Open positions are available on several boards. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Yeah, I can't I'm ready. wait to find out what boards we are looking to fill. Including, uh, ooh, the Adjustment and Appeals Board. Whoa, what do Whoa. they do? I don't know. Oh, okay. They adjust. <laughs> and they appeal. And they appeal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. The Architectural Review Committee. That's actually a popular one. We talk about mm-hmm. that one all the time. Uh, Mike Davis's people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He's planning and zoning. Oh, okay. But he doesn't want oh, to be yeah, a part of this, right. too? Or is that a monopoly? Mm-hmm. I don't know the terminology. This, one, this yeah. one's like the big HOA. Oh, um, yeah. You don't want to be associated. Yeah. yeah. That's a hard one. Another popular one, LAMP. The Conservation Board. Yeah, we know those peeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Chuck Mead. Yes, he's in the LAMP program. Okay. I mean, Mm -hmm. to work with Chuck Mead, that'd be pretty dope. He's a pretty awesome dude. He's a cool dude. Yeah. Uh, The Mid-Anastasia Island Design Review Board. The hell is that? The Mid? The Mid-Anastasia. I've never heard that before. Mid-Anastasia Island Design Review Board. Never Never heard of it. In millennial language, mid is not a good thing. Do what, Clay? I said that's because it's mid yeah. yeah, yeah, it's exactly the millen- <laughs> millennial ma- millennial language. word, yeah. right? Mid, it's just Mid like, eh. is not good. Yeah, not great. <laughs> North Coastal Design Review Board. Ooh, ooh, you're designing a coast though. What a cool resume. Mm. Sure, I'm a coast designer. The <laughs> Pontevedra Zoning and Adjustment Board. Oh, that's fun. Is that like planning and zoning in Pontevedra? Yeah, but that's that gets real like. heated though. You know, they don't like a lot of things up there. Ooh. There you go. If you want a heated job. Right. That could be fun. If you want to argue with people like you're in Spicy. Parliament all day. Right. Uh, the Recreation Advisory Board. Troy. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> already already on uh, TDC. Oh, okay. Can't be on two. Oh, too bad. Oh. The South Anastasia Design Review Board. Ooh, you could be South Designer, too. This is all great. Re- this resume is boosters out wonderful. there. Wonderful. Yeah, very exciting. Robin sure in Spokane. I think she'd be wonderful to add her, uh, to the repertoire right. here. She'd sure. be great from a distance. Uh, individuals interested in these positions uh, can review requirements and responsibilities. That's what you want, a job with responsibilities and no pay. <laughs> On the county's official website at www.sjcfl.us slash boards. 
Service above self. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rotary, but yeah. Yep, see? It go. fits. It fits. Additionally, downloadable applications are accessible upon request by contacting the Board of County Commissioner's Office at 904-209-0300. So I did did find out, I I know of the Mid-Anastasia Review Board. Okay. Uh, They're the ones that denied the whole Tom's transition, uh, that area. So it's that area just Uh, south of uh, the amphitheater, I'm assuming. Oh, Am I saying this right. wrong? And you can please bulldoze over me. But is that, is that the fireplace? Uh, fireplace fire uh, fire station was shot down too, or is oh, that it, that it, was Madeira? Oh. Yeah, no, that's the same area. So is that same area? I, I, okay. I don't know if it was that board. I think that was more the state. Got that it. Did okay. that right? So I yeah, I think that came from the state instead of. But that's that same area. So okay, yeah. So thank it, thank you, Nish, for correcting me. He said, you do know what it is. <laughs> oh, whoopsie doodle. Oh, man. Mid. We'll never forget it now. Oh, great. Yeah. I live in the mid. Yeah. You live in the mid? <laughs> You're doing Unfitting, too- Clay. You need to move out of the mid. Man. Doing too much, bro. You're better than living in the mid, Clay. Yeah. Get to the swamp side. Two people in our audience know they get the joke. <laughs> uh, for those preferring paper applications, you're not the ones who get the joke. <laughs> yeah, sir, they didn't get the joke. <laughs> yeah. They're available at the St. John's County Public Library, Pontevedra Library, and the Anastasia Island Branch. So there you go. There's some boards to serve on if you're bored, mm. I guess. Oh, here's one that everybody loves to talk about. We're throwing a bunch more money at renourishing the beaches. This is always great. The timing on this is always wonderful because we always renourish the beaches and then hurricane season hits and they always go right back out to sea. It's sacrificial sand. Oh. It is. It is. <laughs> no, it, 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 it is, it but that's a very down. catchy term. It goes further down the beach. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk about it again. Yep. Army Corps of Engineers initiated a beach renourishment project in Volano Beach last year with plans to extend operations until March. St. John's County secured a substantial $25 million grant from the state to facilitate this endeavor. In September, the county commission received a progress update on the ongoing dune restoration efforts. Uh, they say dredging operations commenced in November. Extracting sand from the intercoastal waterways. Uh, This dredged sand will play a crucial role in bolstering the beaches in Summerhaven Mm. and contributing to their preservation and fortification against erosion. I thought we sold off all the Summerhaven stuff. No, not yet. Uh, Mm -mm. Still in the works. Just in talks, yeah. Uh, the comprehensive project is anticipated to conclude by the spring of this year, marking a significant step, they say, in safeguarding the coastal environment and enhancing the resilience of the affected shoreline. Mm. Uh, does anybody have any questions about this story? Let's well, see. Troy and I had an award-winning show last week uh, talking about sea walls. Mm-hmm. Troy, oh. do you find that sea walls would be beneficial to all concerned in this moment? Not, not at the beach. <laughs> okay, it, it works. It works in the intercoastal, <laughs> okay. but not at, not at the beach. Then I have. And, and I rest I did, my case. And I did get <laughs> clarification uh, on the seawall. The seawall is going to be lowered so that the wall protects people from falling off. Okay, good, yeah. Because that chain is completely, and I looked at it. You know, a little loosey-goosey, yeah. I looked yeah. at it the other day. It's, it's rough. <laughs> you know, along the, uh, yeah. along the Ford area there. Right, yeah, right, like yeah. walking there, and I, and I looked at those big metal chains, and some of them are almost completely rotted through. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. So yeah. it's time. It's mm-hmm. time. So they're going to, yeah, what does that look like in downtown? What does that seawall look like? Well, it's, it's um, basically where you walk now there. They're going to lower that area, and the wall will serve as the safety barrier. Okay. So you, you can't fall into the water. And I've never saw anyone fall into the <laughs> never, water. Never, ever. Just okay. a dog. Not, yeah. I, ever. I, I saw a dog fall into the water. Oh. Yeah. The dog didn't actually fall into the water. It was still on the leash. And it was, oh, oh right. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It was, so was it a big dog it, or a no, small it was, dog? It was, it was probably uh, like a, um, what is those little short fat ones? Yorkies or whatever. Uh, okay. Oh, so they could just pull it back. No, I mean, there was, it was a sturdy little dog. It wasn't like the dog, like, you know, it was just a dopey little dog. Yeah. You know, like, 
just was like, <laughs> it went over the edge. Yeah. His weight was more than he knew he had. <laughs> it went over the edge, but he uh-huh. got yanked back up. So it was, it was actually quite entertaining. Yeah, I've never seen anybody fall. So are they going to raise p- portions of I, it, it too, I think or? they're actually going to bring down uh, the walkway a little bit. So I, I understand. So it. then that so makes the wall. So they're just bringing down. And maybe we asked Ruben Franklin about that. This yeah, afternoon. I think it's something we need to have them come in and show us. He's here this afternoon. Why? Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Great. he's no, here this afternoon. Timing. Yeah. Perfect timing. Uh, yeah. Because I'm just wondering why you would lower that for people not to fall in when nobody's ever fallen in, and that's not going to yeah. do any protection. It's not going to pr- protect anything any more than what we've got now. Well, it, the thing is, is they have to, if they're doing improvements, they have to bring it up to code because they have to follow the same rules oh, as that's we a do. Co- it's a code. Something like a 43-inch huh? thing a or something. Or it's, 40, yeah. it's a 42-inch uh, <laughs> situation. So, so let's not make like, it 42 inches. Let's just bring the ground down. <laughs> so... But it's it's going to be the wall is going to be forty two inches at at that height. Now little kids right. are going to have. It's to either that or a chain link fence. What do we want? The thing <laughs> thing that I, I I think it's going to be rough on little because little kids aren't necessarily always forty. You're going to have to pick up your kid to see the water. That's fine. Yeah. 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 yeah so that's probably more risk for them to fall in. <laughs> right. Why can't we raise the wall and make it better protected against water? Yeah. I guess at the end of the day, it's there's nothing that's protecting you against the water because the seawall is not Nature. the issue. Nature that's finds what, a way. Yeah, that's yeah. What Troy it's said. coming. It's coming through the sides of the seawall. I mean, the seawall doesn't go around the entire city. It's coming around the sides. It's coming up the drains. Mm-hmm. Seawall is a, just a waste. All right. So. Yeah, no, Ruben, ask Ruben about it. because well, I put it, it in our of, notes. It's kind yeah. of confusing to me, like, what it's going to look like. And yeah. I've, I've asked a couple times, and I'm still, I'm He's, not in smiling, but I'm not sure if I still get it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I got no freaking clue. Wow. Yeah, I got yeah. nothing. I got nothing over here. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, all right. We will have to ask Ruben about that. That and roundabouts. Ruben the roundabout man. <laughs> We've got a lot of roundabout things on the a agenda. Roundabout yeah. Ruben. <laughs> but, it's a, but he self admittedly, he came up with the roundabouts. He's the one who introduced the roundabouts to St. John's County and St. Yeah. Augustine. Yeah. But you guys are so against roundabouts. Roundabout Ruben. But we're not against Ruben. Ruben's a nice no, guy. No, no, Ruben's no. awesome. I'm excited to talk about uh, all about this stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to see if he has that on his agenda. Spanish Street construction be completed. <laughs> We've just got to throw things at him until he yeah, stops. Yeah, I'm going to add the seawall to this agenda. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm making sure that's on there. I'm excited to, to to figure out what he was smoking when he came up with his downtown mm-hmm. roundabout plan. I think that was the state, wasn't it? Was that the state? Was I that think that's the a state F-dot? one. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that one's on Ruben. I mean, I, I know he participated in it, but I think it's an F dot thing. Okay. So, all right, Ruben. You're off the hook for that until <laughs> until we talk to you and you say it's your idea. All right. Uh, let's see. Gas Buddy Gas Report time. Oh, crap. Tim was in the comments earlier. He got ahead of us here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Tim's not messing around, man. <laughs> Pick Give Tim a day. little bit of crap. <laughs> They got him one day. Yeah. And he adjusts. Golly. Tim makes the adjustment. That's what he does. Yeah. He yeah. takes the criticism. He makes the adjustment. Definitely. Doesn't happen again. Definitely. So I shouldn't read Tim's premature here. <laughs> I shouldn't read that. Okay. I will. Sorry, Tim. Sorry. Sorry. I won't read that. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> If anybody else well, is, is if anybody else is seeing good prices for gas, let us know in the comments. He's just growling at home right oh, now. Oh, right. definitely. Yeah. So what did I do to you guys? <laughs> right. What did I do to I'll you? I'll be put it in. Yeah. We <laughs> not, got th- not since I was fifteen. <laughs> Many blessings. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the immature one on this show. Sorry, my bad. The shell at 146 King is at 312 this morning. The Owens at 780 South Ponds, we got you at 312 also. Uh, the Mobile and Circle K at 800 South Ponds, 314. Uh, Sunoco at 2199 North Ponds, their cash price is 314. The Shell at 2350 North Ponce de Leon Boulevard is at 319. And your gate on Mizell Road, 329. Same with your Circle K on US 1 North, 329. 329. As well, I know, man. <laughs> it's getting high. It's higher than we've seen in a little while. If you've been getting higher than we've seen you in a little while and you end up in jail. <laughs> Get high on your own supply, please. <laughs> uh, you're going to want to call our friend Chris Lucero. Chris Lucero Bail Bonds. He is available for you 24-7 to b- provide fast and reliable bail services. Uh, give him a call. The easiest number to remember in town for a bail person. 904-822-BAIL. 
And if you can't read, it's 904-822-2245. Chris Lucero, Bail Bonds. I have people every day tell me the uh, they, uh, they check the uh, jail logs in the app. That's the first thing they do every day. Mm-hmm. Brought to us by Crystal, Crystal Cerro, Cerro Bail Bonds. Yeah. yeah. It only makes sense to have him as the sponsor of that section of our app. Um, all right. We got live music happening today and tonight as well. J.C. Hatfield at the Mill Top at noon. Josh Tennessee Worthy at Pierre's Pub at 1 o'clock. Breck Blackshear, Trade yeah. Winds at 1. Cool. We got Mark Hart at Trade Winds at 5. Colton McKenna, Prohibition Kitchen at 6. Smoke and Joe Shower at Anno Malley's at 6. Trivia with Troy and Blake. Oh, Woo! hey! Back together. Tonight nice. At Gypsy Cheers. Cab, 7 o'clock. Get your reservation. Orlando Muniz. Pierre's Pub at 7. And Salty Dog. Dog! Yeah. Trade Winds, 9 o'clock. Griffin Service brings us that live music mic check. Do you have drains that don't drain like they used to? Slow or clogged drains? A Griffin Services will get the water draining again for only 123 bucks, or it's free. Yep, if they can't bust the clog, you pay zip zilch nada, as in zero dollars. Yeah, yeah, I would hope so. Um, they can help you with any drain emergency, same day, seven days a week, slow drains, clogged toilets, even smelly drains. Whatever, Griffin Service can help. Video diagnosis on any mainline blockage and free lifetime reclears are always included. Uh, give them a call, 904-500-2653, or visit griffinservice.com and see the difference. <laughs> There's a faint hearing of It's the, such of a the, vicious, I love yeah, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Oh, our terrible Tuesday has to do with Walmart. Okay, Wally World, here Shopper. we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy! That's why this I is, work at Target? <laughs> this is such a this is such a Walmart story. Troy, you're going to feel great about your decision to work at Target after this, yes, because they're going to give you a discount on the Stanley Cup, and you will not believe what they gave employees Ugh. for working during a blizzard at Walmart. Pizza. What do you think they should give an employee for working a, a blizzard at Walmart? Time What's and your, a half. Time and a half. Yeah, at pay. least, right? Right. At least, right? Yeah. Yeah. Time and time and a half, and should feed them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I agree. Yeah. They did feed them. Okay. Uh-oh. They did feed them. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the part. <laughs> it is. And we'll get to it right after I tell you about Fidus Roofing. They support local charities that support local kids in our area. In addition to supporting your health and safety through your roof, they support big brothers and big sisters of St. John's County, the Boy Scouts, and many more. They're also always looking to grow their team. So if you're looking for a good career that'll help you afford to live in a house in St. John's County, maybe you should apply with Fidus Roofing. Give them a call, 904-355-ROOF. They do pavers. Pavers. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about some Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you steal somebody else's catch line. Snap into a Walmart. Uh, all right. Walmart slammed. <laughs> It's awful. Mm. Awful. After gifting employees 55-cent ramen for working during a blizzard. It's also a delicacy, though, nowadays. Their, their, their gift, their reward for working during a damn blizzard. Okay. I mean, pack of ramen it. noodles. Just one pack? One pack. 55 cents worth. I don't think you can get two for 55 cents. Walmart facing backlash after a viral TikTok video criticized the company for gifting its employees 55 cent ramen. Yeah, this is bad. I'm trying to find it. During a severe yeah. blizzard. I ramen, yeah, yeah, I was like, thinking it's, it's warm. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. There's yeah. some in my cabinet right yeah. now. But they could have made it cute, like did some hard boiled eggs, like make it like a ramen kind of yeah, like. Yeah, they a, got a lot of food in Walmart. Yeah. yeah. So they yeah, could have done sh- something. They could have at least cooked it. Could have right. given them a whole box. Could have given them a whole box of ramen. Right? You know, just one pack. They say the Arctic blast gripped much of the country, plunging temperatures below zero in various regions. And despite the extreme weather, workplaces remained open, forcing employees to endure challenging conditions. In the video posted by a TikToker named Milzy. Ah. Yeah. Milzy. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Whistleblower. Milzy the Walmart worker. Yeah. Who, he works at Walmart in Rockford, Illinois. Oh, I'm, I'm going to actually yeah. have to tell you, I had a roommate we called Milzy. 
Really? Did you really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this may be him. Yeah. Where is he these days, Troy? Is he's, he in Illinois? He's Captain Captain Waylon Mills in Boca Grande. Okay. Yeah, he's 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 now a fisher fishing boat captain. Okay. Millsy. Not this guy. Yeah. No, no. no this guy. Uh, he garnered over half a million views on TikTok. That's not that much on TikTok. Mm. Uh, Rockford experienced frigid temperatures dropping to negative six degrees. Oof. <laughs> You're dressed for it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't feel it in this jacket. It's a great jacket. Um, let's see. In the video, Millsy voiced dissatisfaction over Walmart's gesture, showcasing a social media post from the Rockford store featuring employees with cases of uh, ramen. Oh, they got captions. Cases. Well, I think I think they only brought the cases out to pass out one at a time. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. That makes sense. But maybe not. Uh, they criticized Walmart, highlighting its status as a Fortune 500 company with its substantial wealth. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, got <laughs> they have a lot of stores. Right. Though. I mean, yeah. just, they yeah. don't do it by giving away expensive food. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, they say it was an inadequate gesture of offering inexpensive ramen. Hey, you know, there's people around the world that would uh, be very, very happy with a bowl of they ramen. Are, they are dying to have some ramen. They r- literally are. I mean, Barry Honan is a ramen specialist in town. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. I mean, hello. Yes. Get creative with it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Millsy emphasized the challenges faced by employees, some of whom had to walk to work. So did my grandpa. Uphill both ways. With right. Barefoot. Negative 18 degree weather. That is a lot. That's, that sucks. That's that horrible. That suck. I don't know if that's an exaggeration. Uh, demonstrating, they say, a commitment to their jobs despite significant hardships. The video's comments section reportedly saw intense criticism, prompting Walmart to uh, remove their post. Apparently, they had a post about it. They were probably they, excited they were about, about it. About it. <laughs> right. Thinking, it's like, how a cool. case of ramen for everybody. And you could select from chicken or beef. <laughs> yeah. Or they could have a dry ass sandwich. Like, what would they rather have? I'd rather have the ramen. Like, something ramen. warm. On a and, cold day, right? Some warm, right. some hot ramen. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm really. I take the ramen. They got a lot of yeah. food in that place, though, like you said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, ramen would be. Ramen's adequate. It's adequate enough. So a case is twenty two seventy one. Is that wow? Huh? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there well, it is. Hey, it's two pack it for eleven ninety six. Wait, wow. it gets cheaper if you buy two. Oh, if you buy two. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's it's half the price. That's oh, crazy. half the price. <laughs> if you buy, they're literally giving it away <laughs> <laughs> to you. Yeah, all right. Got high ratings. It's got five stars for four and a half. I mean, ramen's good. We all kind of had that period like where ramen, like, yeah. we ate mostly ramen, right? Still do. I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I, I have ramen yeah. up there. I mean, that's it's in my cabinet. Ramen and grilled so. cheese. Yeah. That's a staple, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Ungrateful. How dare. Walmart employee. My Milsey. mind has been changed on this story just by reading it. Yes. Millsy. Millsy. Get a yeah. life, Millsy. Really. Get off TikTok, you loser. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Millsy, Millsy, how dare! Troy said, "Yeah, like, like he was watching TikTok at this very moment." Yeah, yeah, you get off TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have TikTok. Troy likes reels. I That's what he likes. Yeah, hates TikTok. it real. Yeah, yeah. Troy does send a lot of reels. He likes Troy reels. Send yeah. a lot of reels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like relaxing. All right, you guys, you guys didn't see the story about the horse rescue, huh? No, an elderly horse named Champ. Oh, Champ. Yeah, Champ. Oh, he sounds wonderful. He was rescued by the Orange Park Fire Department and the St. John's County Fire Rescue. Oh. After an apparent health incident, the Orange Park police said the horse was being transported by the owner. <laughs> when the owner uh, pulled into a parking lot on Park Avenue to check on the horse, she opened the rear door and the horse came out kneeling in distress. Oh, oh no. The Orange Park and St. John's County crews gave the horse oxygen. Oh, God. And used a... Winch to help the horse get back into the trailer. Mm, maybe that's like a lead or something. I don't know. Back checking. Probably put a harness around him and yeah. lift him with the winch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that was nice. There Champ. Yeah. Oh, no, there's the pictures of I Champ hope, and I the hope winch. Champ's doing okay. There you go. Yeah, I hope he's okay. Prayers up for Winch. Or no, yeah, not Winch. Champ. What's his name? Champ. Champ. <laughs> Prayers up for Winch. <laughs> for the Winch in the situation. <laughs> Millsy. Yeah. <laughs> Millsy oh, yeah, please. That one's... Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
Well, that's great. Yeah. Thank you, St. John's County Fire Rescue. I hope he's going to be okay. The fire rescue departments here in St. John's County. Great people. All right. St. John's County is approving a 2024 list of priority transportation projects. All right. I was just thinking, going through US-1, how many times is this pattern going to change, and why can't we just finish a damn road? Yeah. There's a lot going on. I know there's a lot going on, but... Uh, Will is it, it ever is it going to be done before they start that bridge on King Street? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's where the we're question all for sweating. all the construction projects. Yeah. St. John's County Commissioners have unanimously approved their 2024 list of priority projects, forwarding it to the North Florida TPO for funding and consideration. The focus of these transportation projects is to address the growing infrastructure needs of one of Florida's fastest expanding counties. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we got it. Notably, State Road 16 stands out as a top priority, with $5 million already committed to uh, design work for the county. Other crucial projects include widening County Road 2209. Who? Hmm? There's two. T- it's, it's I think in- it's 209, right? No, it's yeah. t- there's 2209. There I 20 think 20 so. it's up in Jolinden Creek area. I believe. Oh. oh, that's why we don't know. Yeah, I didn't know. Cares about you no guys idea. To Creek. Well, is it cheaper up there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Enhancing the intersection of International Golf Parkway and State Road 16, upgrading the US 1 intersection at Pine Island Road and Racetrack Road, and widening State Road 207. Uh, County Commissioner Christian Whitehurst and North Florida TPO Chair emphasize the continuity in recognizing. State Road 16 is a top transportation priority for the second consecutive year. (laughs) Seeking support beyond local funds, they say the county has uh, requested financial assistance from the state legislature, including $20 million to widen State Road 16 from International Golf Parkway to Interstate 95, Mm -hmm. and $10 million uh, for the central segment of County Road 2209. Even John Rutherford, congressman, he's in on that. Uh Uh-oh. Yep. Um, he pledged $4 million towards widening, not himself. I don't think he did that yeah. himself. Federal money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So John just, big pockets John, just no, comes yeah. in, let's throw $4 million at this. I'd like to make a left turn here. <laughs> My DC <laughs> lobbyists, big kind. Right. Uh, toward the widening of State Road 16 in the fiscal year 2024 budget. Progress is underway with work already commenced on priority projects like 2209 which broke ground last month. Uh, Notably, the county received about $59 million in state appropriations for transportation projects last year. So there you go. Some roads, more roads being worked on. Yeah, I I sat on this committee years ago, um, and it's the appropriations are, uh, like, what's needed is seven times more than what's available. Mm, So a lot of these things are just like, hey, this is what we need you to look at. You know, and and when the money runs out, the projects stop, and that's the that's why that ranking is in place. Uh, um, one of the ones I remember, you know, years ago, and they just kind of finished it about five years ago, was the trail on uh, two hundred seven. The rails, the trail, oh right, thing on two hundred seven, and now it goes all the way into Putnam County. So mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, these things eventually do happen, but it usually is not <laughs> right away. Mm, yeah. So all okay. right. Well. Something to look forward to in 2024. Yeah, yeah. When we retire. (laughs) Um, Troy, how do you want to uh, check out the comments today? I'm going to tear into the tremendous tumultuous thoughts of our thousands of fans. Wow. He said tens of fans, but I I, I exaggerated. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. All right. As you do that, I'll remind people of Bates, you and employed. And they set the standard that your home is more than a house. It is where your memories are made, and they want to protect your home so that you can focus on making those memories. Uh, having a reliable local insurance agency like Bates, you and employed with over 40 years of experience in homeowners insurance, auto commercial, and benefits can be a valuable asset in navigating the unpredictable insurance market. They've got the expertise to help you find just the right coverage for your needs. Give Christy a call. She's readily available at their St. Augustine office situated across from Flagler Hospital. Uh, she can give you a complimentary policy review and see if you need to switch, see if you need to stay the same place. Sometimes she'll look at you and just say, hey, you're in a good spot. You don't need to change anything. And that's honesty. Trust yeah. and honesty right there. Yeah. That's what she did with me. Mm-hmm. Very easy. Give them a call 904-794-5455 or visit them on South Park, 165 South Park, Sweet C. 
And of course, our friends at Willow in Maine, your hair's best friend. Are you tired of looking tired? Head over to Willow and Maine. Feeling like your hair's in a rut? Willow and Maine is your hair hut. Not sure where to fix your frame? Take your mug to Willow and Maine. They're right there off State Road 16, by the way. Uh, from classic highlights to hair extensions, whether your hair is oily, crunchy, curly, straight, limp, or a little bit of a wimp, they'll whip it and clip it into shape. Don't let a hair emergency stress you out. Give them a call today and book your next appointment. Check out their latest specials on their Instagram at Willow and Maine Beauty Bar. And dudes, tomorrow is Men's Day. Wednesday, Men's Day, Men's Day, Wednesday. All right, Troy, what you got? All right, um, so first off, uh, uh, Pete looks like a mechanic from Minnesota. Oh, yeah, I can Minnesota. see that now. Yeah, with the Florida hats. Oh, Minnesota yeah. mechanic Melfi. Yeah. yeah. Lots of alliteration there. Isn't that right. what that's called? Uh, Spencer, I, I had to ask this question because I wanted to see if I was doing like uh, Spencer will be at the courthouse. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Slinging his butt out the window at the courthouse. Right. Bootylicious. There was a lot of butt banter. Okay. In, in the comments. <laughs> okay. And the dog who fell off was a mid dog. <laughs> <laughs> That was really good, Troy. I just got no, it. No, it was Josh. It took me a second. It was Josh in the comments. He, he nailed it. And, and Clay was right behind him on it. That's uh, right. And your mom and Bobby have never had ramen. Wow. What's up with that? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. It's a problem. Weirdos. You have to really try to avoid that. Yeah. Like. yeah. To avoid ramen? Yeah. Yeah, if you've never had it. Like. Yeah. Yeah. So All right. I, I just, I, I'm shocked that no one's, they have not had ramen. I know. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. maybe that's impressive. No. That's, maybe it's impressive to dodge that your whole avoid. life. Like I've dodged breaking bad. Never still mm -hmm. never seen an episode. Never will. Yeah. Oh, I think we never will. Mm, you really never will. Show. Shut the door on that one. Just, mac, mm, never it's like, will. It's like saying you never had craft mac and cheese. You know? It's not the best. It's, it's not, not the best. best. It's yeah, not the best. Velveeta, Velveeta, Velveeta all the way home. It's the best. You eat it because it's the only thing you can freaking afford. Yeah. Well, true, sometimes true. Uh, Velveeta gets BOGO too, though. Yeah. yeah. Velveeta, I, I, I love me some Velveeta. I made Oof. great queso the Kraft other day. Kraft is good under certain conditions. You know what I actually like, Kraft, mm. is the shapes. The macaroni and cheese shapes. It tastes mm. different than just the regular noodles. Mm -hmm. okay. The texture's a little bit different. The texture's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Taste, it's a little bit different. Yeah. Well, I haven't had that in a long time either. Kraft mac and cheese? Yeah, me neither. Damn. All right. Um, Stortum stat. All right. Stortum stat. On this day, 1948, um, Mahatma Gandhi was assassinated. And uh, Mahatma was not his real name. I can't say his real name, but it stand, it's... It, it means it great, great soul. <laughs> <laughs> it means great soul. Great, okay. It means great soul. And the strangest part of this is there was always a battle between Hindus and, and Muslims. And Mahatma was actually assassinated by a Hindu. So it was, mm. it, you know, because it, he was trying to, it was a, a Hindu radical who, who took out Mahatma. But Mahatma is the guy who kind of, um, Inspired Martin Luther King to have the nonviolence, mm. uh, and that's how India uh, was freed from England and that tyranny that was there. So Mahatma, uh, it's got to be a celebrated day over there. So yeah, all right, good start and start. Yes, yeah. brought to you by a great pizza place, Saint Augie's Pizza. Go in there and get yourself a few slices today. You might see me in there, right in between Riberia and ML King. Uh, what you got for plugs, guys? Uh, I got trivia tonight. Come see us if, if uh, call if the, for reservations. Okay. Davey? Oh, boy. Afternoon show, 3 o'clock. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Reuben Franklin, the roundabout Reuben. Let's go. Uh, Clay, what you got? Yeah, what they said. Okay. Great. I'll tell you to go to the FloridaManGames.com. Get your tickets today. It's going to be a blast. We'll see you out there. And Davey and I'll see you at 3. Bye-bye.